All right, what's up, everybody? I already know what you're thinking coming into this video. It's a gacha game. What did you expect? Or, this dude never played a gacha before, etc., etc. But let me rant for a second. If you're not already concerned with how things are shaking out since the launch of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, and I'm not sure what you're watching, or maybe you just have ice in your veins and are immune to any of the outfits, weapons, and just overall banners they have been releasing so far. Maybe you're just a huge FF7 fanboy like me and are trying your best to ignore some obvious concerns, but I think it's time to take a closer look. The game dropped on September 7th, which is roughly 4-5 to five days prior to the release of this video. It launched with this banner right here, a cool banner hyped in the beta test that features Cloud with a samurai-style sword instead of his traditional buster sword, and some fancy samurai-style armor. As someone who loves samurai stuff in general, I was extremely excited for this banner. Now I haven't had time to be as hardcore as everyone else so far since the game released, but through playing the game I've managed to get two away from getting the outfit and I did get the base copy of the weapon from the stamps. I have zero interest in the Barrett stuff, though I did manage to get the weapon while pulling for the Cloud stuff. My original plan was to get the Cloud outfit, not worry about the weapon dupes, and start saving for the inevitable Sephiroth stuff that I know I'm going to want. This seemed like a really good plan until the summer event out of nowhere. I'm all for summer events, and as a Tifa obsessor since I was about 12 years old, the Tifa weapon and outfit are a must for me, and not skippable with my aforementioned lack of self-control. I am still very behind on story in the game, but it already feels like crystals are drying up. Now I feel worried that I won't be able to keep up with these banner drops and I'll miss out on Vincent outfits, Sid outfits, Yuffie outfits, and the inevitable Kate Sith in a bikini outfit, and now I'm finding myself stressing out and constantly thinking about it until my mind slips into a state of madness and despair. <clears throat> so I find myself hoping that the next banner is a skippable one for me, like race car driver Glenn or baseball player Cloud or something. But if this new event is any indication by these two skins for Cloud and Aerith, then I'm afraid I got some bad news for myself and Wally. Especially if the next banner includes this Aerith outfit that I'm definitely pulling for. Not to take away from Cloud's outfit here, that looks like he hit up Macklemore to go to the thrift shop to find any knockoff Sora from Kingdom Hearts apparel he can find. What's that, Macklemore? You only have $20 in your pocket? That $20 barely gets you a 10 pull. To be honest, this shop has got to be one of the most ridiculous I've ever seen. I've only targeted the $20 bundles that seemingly have good value, but even with those you get like one 10 pull tops out of it. If you're extremely unlucky in video games like I am, then your ability to get over one stamp per pull is nearly non-existent, so we're looking at roughly 120 pulls just to get the outfit and base weapon assuming you don't get lucky anywhere on the pulls before then. This event runs for 17 days, so I still have time, but I've already completely given up on the idea of getting dupes from pulls, so I will get to the outfit and then stop. What that means for the strength of the weapons going forward for my account, I have no idea. I might as well start saving up for something for Sephiroth now if I want to have a chance to even get it slightly leveled. Judging by how quickly they turned out these two massive banners, I wonder just how long it will be before Sephiroth is added to the game and that's another thing no one is prepared for, crystal-wise or money-wise, unless you're a super mega whale who is buying up the near 30 daily packs the game already has. Now don't get me wrong, my intention is not to outright hate the game from the jump and not give it a chance. I am actually really enjoying the game a lot, which is where my concern is coming from. I want to continue to enjoy the game, but I also want to have a chance at some of the new stuff they add instead of already feeling like I won't be able to get anything in the future. While the event has come with a lot of concerns, the event itself has been fun in my opinion, and the free stuff for Zack is pretty crazy. Definitely take advantage of the free Zack stuff in this event because it will make him extremely powerful for a long time to come, and with the lack of ability to get anything new leveled up properly, you might need it for the foreseeable future. Honestly, for some, if they continue to provide these free decked out characters, this may be the only way for you to feel like you're making any progress at all. And if they never do something like these Zack freebies again, this Zack might be your best character for the game's life cycle, or for your entire time playing the game. My final concern is this wallpaper with Zack fighting the Watermelon Tonberry. This is already the greatest wallpaper they could possibly release, so they definitely peaked too soon on the wallpapers. I mean, just look at this masterpiece of a design. This isn't sarcasm, I'm being serious, this thing is godlike. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions too soon on a game with a less than 10 day lifespan. But as someone who has played many a gacha before, it's already very concerning looking at a game that I was very excited for. What do you all think? 
Should we be concerned, or is it business as usual in the gotcha scene? How do you like the game so far? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next one.